welcome back. These are some bins I threw up on the shelf for organization. My wife got these little plastic totes that are shelving units. You've been, people have been using for a long time, I've been around. Um, put those up. I don't know if all of our clothes are gonna fit in this. So what I did, um, our neighbor moved and <laughs> they gave us an old closet organizer, organizer, organizer. And yeah, it's really big, almost too big. So a lot of stuff could fit in here. And if we shower, if <laughs> uh, we just take it out, just take it out. So yeah, I'm stuck on that. Um, our new uh, zero gravity type chairs are cool. Those are comfy. What else? I don't know if you can see that through the window. I got our official um, badge on our trailer for uh, official Bigfoot response vehicle. So that's pretty dope. <laughs> My daughter thinks I'm so crazy for teasing her about Bigfoot. But um, yeah, so that's all I've been doing. Uh, Miles is upstairs sleeping. Everybody else is playing. Got a peek in our dirty garage. But yeah, we're getting there. We're getting organized. You can see there's some shelving. When you get older, you need boxes like this. Meds. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's not an ambulance. That was per for personal use. <laughs> all right. We're gonna get some of our new pans that are non-stick and use those. Pretty deep in there, but yeah, um, I decided to use nonstick because um, the traditional steel pans um, or metal pans they're wasting so much egg. Every time I made eggs, I like half the egg would get stuck in there. I know if I use more oil and the, the temperature is right, but goodness gracious, I guess I'm just not that good of a cook. The nonstick brainless you don't there's hardly any mess i just wipe it with a, a towel and it's like ready to put back on the shelf and you don't waste the egg which is the biggest point point. and i didn't want to get um egg residue and some you know all that roughage all that sink waste down into our plumbing i don't want to get a plum uh plumbing back up and have our gray tank get all clogged up that would stink so even though there is a little mesh catch or filter in the in the drain uh still stuff gets it down there no matter how careful you are so hopefully i'll have to say i'm looking forward to using our non-stick pan um to cook to saute and then stuff It'll be very nice well, that's it that's our update um we'll see when we start moving in and putting our clothes in if we'll actually fit um also i'm doing a heat test now you can hear the fan going no ac right now i'm not hooked up and obviously the generators aren't running so i'm just seeing how hot does it get in here today is let's see what's the ambient oh, i can't look because i'm using the phone to fill i think the ambient temperature is around 80 something today i don't think we're in the 90s yet um it's a little warm in here here's the thermometer to see where we're at so 83 inside it's getting there getting there i don't have i had two um fans um going battery operated fans going those those help a lot actually i don't have those out i was organizing everything and now i don't want to take it out because it was put everything away so pretty <laughs> all right um got the trim stuck back i still need to trim the trim down i need to trim the trim the door trim down there it's too long i guess it's swelled <laughs> expanded um, I don't know why I'm cracking myself up with my vocabulary choices today. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a jigsaw and zap off the end of that trim so it will fit better on the, against the wall there. All right. Then I'm going to get another fire extinguisher put it in here. That was good. As always, you always forget stuff. But yeah, so many things to remember. I guess I could make a checklist without me making a list, and that's against my religion. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll see. All right. Peace. Got the AC going. Let's see if I can lower the tap in here. Getting a little warm. The 
The bottom number is the inside temperature. Outside is 88, inside is 86. Let's see. It's on full blast. It's as cold as we'll get. 62, high fan, high cool. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it cools down. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, I'm maxing and relaxing in the cool air. The AC worked. It worked. Um, it got up. What did it get up to? 86 in here. And then I turned it on full blast, and it got down to I think 70 was the lowest it got. And then I just turned it on auto um, to see if um, just you know it, letting the AC just kind of chill. I turned the temperature of the AC from its minimum to 62, from 62 to 68, uh, where we keep our house AC usually. <laughs> and to see. I was doing it jumped up a little bit and went up to where we at oh it's still going up a little bit 78 but it feels comfortable I mean I am laying right underneath the AC <laughs> so maybe that's why it so, feels, still feels comfortable but I think I think we're gonna do it I watched some YouTube videos on how to use your AC correctly in the RV and it said so I was curious I mean do you close the vents do you do that and yes you definitely close all the vents all the windows Otherwise, the AC is trying to cool the street. <laughs> it's trying to cool where you are outside, too. It's trying to cool all that air also. Or remove the heat, I should say. Um, yeah, it's still mind-boggling. I've heard explanations on how air conditioners work. It still makes my brain hurt. And refrigerators, too. That's confusing. I don't know why. It's almost as confusing as time travel to me. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, this is cool. Um, no pun intended, but yeah, um, run the AC on auto at 68, I think is doable, I think with Coolio, um, I didn't, I plugged it into the house, I didn't plug it into, um, the generator, because I don't want to run my generator around my neighbors, because technically I'm not supposed to be parked in front of my house anyway, um, I don't want to be that guy, um, uh, just going to use the generator basically, and heat emergencies or pop microwave popcorn emergencies stuff like that or Keurig coffee cup emergencies the things that you think you just that are needs you know oh I have to have my Keurig today I can't be bothered to use the french press it's too much work or, you know I guess you could be at a coffee grounds or something alright